I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah, we are on our 11th, 11th December of our Christmas package calendar. I bought this from Want to Sell Retro, and you can see the link here. Uh, this one. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna use this note for later on in the video. So stick around. Also, a disclaimer: if you bought this v uh, this Christmas calendar from Want to Sell Retro. I would recommend the uh, way to after Christmas to actually watch these videos because I do not want to uh, ruin your experience opening your package and then figure out, oh shit, I, I got the same or not. Nonetheless, I'm not taking any chances. So disclaimers, uh, if you have this package uh, calendar, wait till after Christmas to watch these videos. If not, please stick around. So that said, I am going to open it, this package with much care. Same care as it has been spent packaging this, uh, wrapping this present. So again, I'm getting the second surprise. Let's see what it is. Uh, I, I can see a bit here, but I'm guessing this says asteroid. Banoid. I'm actually pretty sure Banoid was one of on the previous discs as well. Um, nonetheless, now I got it again. And then there's Inferno. I don't know that game. Steelcon 2469. I don't know that game either. Starts. I think this is the second time that game is also, so there's some games. And then there's Envision Publisher. Wasn't that in on the last one as well? It, yeah, it was on the 10th of December as well. Why did it... Why did they... Because this is volume 35, and the one from yesterday was volume 36. Why would they put the same software two months in a row? Because I'm pretty sure this is somewhat like, uh, like you know, a magazine where you get one each month or something. Um, my question is, why would they put the same program or game on uh, the disc two months in a row? Two, two times in a row. Nonetheless, let's unwrap it from this plastic. Of course, if you're living in Denmark, uh, okay. Do not throw this in garbage. You can put it in your recycle because we have a specific uh, place. Did that one just fall down? I have ghosts. Uh, we do have a specific spot in our recycle centers where we can put that kind of plastic. Um, so, of course, as always, I'm going to take it out of the so-called jewel case here because I am going to put it in a different kind of thing and again the tip is here thumb on the side you have this uh, this here and then you just push down with your thumb and then you have an easy opening because I think most people, they just take here and they rip it up here. And sometimes uh, these uh, in here, they can actually break. Um, nonetheless, this one, I'm going to throw it in the hard plastic recycle. And I'm going to put my game in uh, these uh, plastic sleeves, as mentioned in other videos as well. So there is somewhat system to what I'm doing. Of course, I'm doing this to one protect my games and uh, downsize uh, my vo uh, volume in games. Meaning, not meaning uh, how many games I have, but mainly uh, the size it, the physical media fills up. So I'm gonna put in the disc, and of course, I'm gonna put in the cover as well. So as mentioned in the start, I do have this one as well. I'm going to put this one in also. Reason. F 
Oh, I'm pretty sure it fell down because I don't see it anymore. Okay. Ooh. Um, the reason why I put this note in uh, in my these is because maybe one month or maybe a year later down the road, uh, I uh, go down and I find this in the, my in my private archives. Uh, as I want to say, um, and then I can. Where did I get this game from? Um, and because of this note, I can now then see that I got it from that website. Uh, for and for what reason? A Christmas calendar from. Want to sell retro in 2020? And there it is. Fancy packed in the plastic sleeve. Um, I did mention, I, I think I forgot to mention in all the previous videos. If you want these plastic sleeves, I want to. Um, I want to see if I can get somewhat uh, a deal or uh, somewhat spe special code people can use uh, to buy. If not, uh, I'm gonna link, link it in the description where I bought these plastic sleeves because all my audio CDs all my uh, jewel case games are going to be placed in these uh, plastic sleeves all my PC games that are in these kind of covers uh, my movies is also gonna get in these plastic uh, but yeah I will show you follow the link in the description so if you are watching this after the 24th December, and um, I really want to know what, what you got in your package. So please leave comments below to tell me what you got, because I think he put it so we are all getting different. So there is no one knows what they're getting that day, even though you are revealing maybe, oh, yes, I got this from the ones of retro. Um, but I'm, as I said, I'm not taking any chances. Uh, what's after 24th? But I do want to know what you got. So leave those comments below. So that's it from here. So um, I thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.